Hey there folks, today I've got a little cup battle for you! My opponent's name is Powerbutt and you will see through the course of the battle he is easily the most mature, grown up person I have ever battled in my life. I mean just look at what he nicknamed his Pokemon, uh, we'll see it in a minute. But anyway, yeah, so looking at his team, I figure leading off with my Sandshrew should be a pretty safe bet uh, because it can set up rocks, it can spin, since he's got that Dwebble, it can do all manner of lovely things. So that's just who I'm going to lead off with. So uh, here he sends out his lead, nicknamed Dickface. Oh, that's so clever. Oh my god, how did he ever think of that name? So yeah. I see no problem setting up my Stealth Rocks first turn as he sets up his Stealth. No, actually, I go for the Earthquake to break his Sturdy, and as you can see, it does more than half, although he's going to recover back up thanks to that Orin Berry. That's fine with me. Uh, he's now going to Earthquake me. I don't care. I'm Eviolate. I can take that for days. I just go for the Rapid Spin with the idea that he will have to waste turns setting those rocks back up, plus it does a little bit of damage. Maybe he was expecting me to switch out. I don't know. I don't know why he would go for a Rock Blast. It only hits twice. I set up my rocks this turn thinking maybe he'll want to switch out, realizing that I wall him for days. He sets up his rocks yet again. And I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake again. It's good. It's not gonna KO, but it, is, it will get him pretty low. So here, uh, he goes ahead and switches out into his Talo, also named Dickface, OMG, as I go for the Rapid Spin. Um, he goes for the Brave Bird. I was not, I was actually really intrigued that he did not seem to be running um, a Flame Orb or anything like that. So I could just go ahead and knock off, turns out it's, I'm knocking off his Choice Scarf. So that's going to be nice because that means that my Whalmer will be able to outspeed. Anyway, he goes for Toxic against my Ivy on my Ponyard. Sucks to be him. Uh, the switch is obvious. I am just going to go ahead and go for the, uh, the, um, Swords Dance on the Switch. Yeah, so now I'm at plus two against his Darumaka, also named Dickface. OMG! So, go for the Sucker Punch. Easy KO for me. I am Life Orbed. That was not going to be a problem. So now my opponent is going to send out Execute. Oh, it's a level one Execute! I've broken through its uh, Sash, so I'll be able to KO with Iron... Um, Iron Head easily. I mean, obviously, without speed considering it's level one. Now, out comes Happiny. Got the brick break. Bye bye, Happiny. Happiny is now down, and I have a little Ponyard sweep going. Uh, Ponyard is just losing the health more to Life Orb than to anything else. Now, out is going to become an Oshawott. Oshawott! Oh, also named Dick Face. And now that Oshawott is dead, that is what, four KOs now? Three? I lost. No, that's four KOs! So now, out is going to come this Dwebble down to one HP. Uh, I was thinking he might try to set up rocks or something, so I just went for an attacking move rather than this uh, Sucker Punch. He takes me out. I don't really care. Uh, two Pokemon left. They're both going to be slower than my Starbuck, my Scarf, Whalmer. I go for the Water Spout. Super effective on 1 HP. Obviously that was max damage. And now my opponent sends out his last Pokemon. Uh, takes damage from the rocks. And again, at that low range of health, I'm just hoping that Water Spout can deliver the KO. And lo and behold, it does. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.